B, 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 B. O, C, 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 C. Kurch Fitters has fled from Germany to Norway, from Norway to England. After the war, he moves to the Lake District, creating Metz collages out of English materials. In a barn near Lake Windermere, Schwitters begins work on a new Metz building, although he is ill and impoverished. Nineteen forty eight, Kurt Schwitters dies with one wall nearly completed. Dada hat gelebt und hat schon zu seinen, seinen Lebenszeiten gesagt, wenn die Zeit kommt, werden wir gerne und freudig ins Grab steigen. 1954. Max Ernst is awarded the painting prize of the Venice Biennale. When he accepts it, he is expelled from the Surrealist group. Seeing means usually you open your eyes and you look to the outside world. <clears throat> you can see another way. You close your eyes and you look into your inner world. Uh, world. <clears throat> and I believe the best to do is to have one eye closed and to look inside and this is the inner eye. With the other eye you have it fixed on reality, what is going on around in the world. If you can make a kind of a synthesis of these two important worlds, you come to a result <coughs> which can be considered as the synthesis of uh, objective and subjective life. The inner world and the outer world work together to make me a revolutionary painter. And when I paint, I feel absolutely free. The one big danger is that you lose your mind. You, madness is always in, in, in the background and menaces you. I was born with a very strong feeling of freedom, liberty. Mm -hmm. That means also with a very strong feeling of revolt. Revolt and revolution is not the same thing. But when you are born into a period where so many uh, events invite you to get revolted and uh, throw over what is going on in the world and be disgusted with it <coughs> and so on. <coughs> uh, it is absolutely natural that uh, the work you produce is a revolutionary work. Dali is written out of the Surrealist movement by André Breton. His undertaking was spoilt by his ultra-retrograde technique and discredited by a cynical indifference to the means which he used to advertise himself. He has shown signs of panic and has only been able to save appearances through a scheme of deliberate vulgarization. By now, his work has become engulfed in academicism which claims on its own authority to be classicism, and which in any case has no interest whatever for surrealism. Dali remains unrepentant. I am not a surrealist. I am surrealism.
The trouble with interviewing Salvador Dali is that he talks with everything at once, including the radar whiskers, which locate his ideas. He just loves to talk. Fifteen years ago, he wore a diving suit to deliver a lecture. Today, I'm normal, he says. The Madonna of Port Ligat is in the new style. Romantic mysticism, Dali calls it. If the meaning is obscure, there's no doubt about his brilliant drawing and colour work. 15,000 and it's yours. Most impressive of all is Dali's crucifixion. In Atomic Angel, Bikini is very evident. The trouble with these exciting talks on art is that you never know where they'll end when you talk to atomic painters. After the war, André Breton has parted company with many of his former friends. He displays less interest in politics or psychology, and his final attempt to reconcile dream with reality lies in the art of magic. In spite of all reservations one may have as to its principles, the occult is extremely interesting in that it maintains in a dynamic state the infinite system of correspondences that lies at man's disposal giving him the key to relations which are capable of linking objects apparently unconnected and partially uncovering the mechanism of universal symbolism. <laughs> 